Welcome to Online Appliance Tech. Today we're working on a Whirlpool Cabrio which will show you how to place in the diagnostic mode and pull up all stored error codes. The first thing you want to do is press normal quick code three times in a row. And then you're going to press the code button once to activate and pull up any and all stored error codes. To display the next error code, just hit the code button and keep on pressing the code button to display all stored error codes. Once the unit has shown you all the error codes, it will beep three times. I will leave in the description below a list of error codes and what they mean. So let's re-enter diagnostic mode because now we're going to place it into service test mode. This time we'll hit the quick button once. Once enter, it will show the error code, so press the quick button once. Press the soil level and temperature button to move up and down to select which part of the machine you want to activate. So let's do a couple of tests. 001. Press the start button to activate. You should hear the cold water come out. Once you have verified the cold water is working properly, you can move forward to the next step. So press the start button to turn off the water valve. Press four levels to go to 002. This will activate the hot valve. Press start. And you should have hot water enter into the tub. Press start again to stop the hot water and move to the next mode. Zero zero freeze a fresh valve. In this case, this machine does not have this function. Zero zero five is a softener valve. Press start to stop. Six is an oxy valve. Number seven is the bleach valve. And number eight is the drain pump. So if you're having a washer issue where it's not draining, this is a way to test to see if the pump is actually good or bad. So if your drain pump activates in diagnostic mode, but does not in regular test mode, it could be a door switch or main control board. So now we're going to test the door lock. So I will go down to 000, zero, zero this is because that's how we activate the door lock. As you can see, it's not wanting to lock. So I keep on trying. That's the cold valve. And then I go back down to activate the door lock, but it is not locking. So what I had to do is actually go out of diagnostic mode, turn the machine off, as you'll see. So I turn the machine off and I place it back into diagnostic mode. Quick button once. I'll display an error code and I hit the quick button again. And then I hit the start button to lock the door. As you can hear it clicks, which is... So the reason I did this is because I'm going to test the agitation high spin. To test those modes, you have to lock the door first. So this is fast agitation mode 014. So as you can see, the tub, I mean not the tub, but the agitator is agitating like it's supposed to. So in this case, we'll press the start button. And now we're going to test the spin mode. 0012 is high spin test. 
So the machine will take a few minutes to adjust and then it'll start to spin. So I hope this video was helpful. If you need more additional information, don't forget to check in the description below. I will leave all the error codes. And if you have any questions, please leave in comments below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you again and have a good one. Bye.